I'm your host, Melena Scantlin, and I've tracked down the experts to get your fitness questions answered, take control of your life, and get the body you've always wanted. Coming up, helpful info you don't want to miss from You Asked For It. Who's more fit, CrossFitters or bodybuilders? <laughs> Who wants to take this one first? I'm going to go with you, Courtney. <laughs> I feel like I'm always going first on the top one. Um, <laughs> you know, it depends on what your definition of fitness is. Bodybuilding, you know, by definition is to focus on training the physique to look fit. So you have a lot of bodybuilders out there that have very aesthetically pleasing physiques. You know, um, men are very muscular and lean and the women are tight and toned but not too bulky um, for like some of the bikini and figure divisions. So I think bodybuilding is, you know, more body sculpting. You know, you're, you're helping the physique look like a very fit person. Um, as far as level of fitness, you know, which also incorporates muscular endurance and cardiovascular fitness and strength um, and body composition. I would have to say that the CrossFitters would probably win that one just because of the incorporation of cardio and functional training as opposed to just training the body to, to gain muscle. James? Yeah, I mean, I would say, I would definitely say the CrossFit. I mean, you got, you got guys, guys in the police academy doing this kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of what CrossFit does uh, is, is more for the heart. So you're gonna be more fit in, in the heart area because you're doing high intensity stuff. When you get up into that higher maximum heart rate zone, it focuses a lot more on the heart and less on the fat burning. Like as a bodybuilder, I, it's weird for me to call myself a bodybuilder. <laughs> um, I think of Jay Cutler when I think of that. But um, as a bodybuilder, you know, I'm up in the morning early and doing, you know, my cardio on the treadmill is not high intensity. It's between 50 and 70% maximum heart rate. So I'm speed walking on the treadmill at like a two incline. Um, so it's, it's a lot different. Their stuff's super high intensity. They're incorporating weight training in and out of the gym real quick. So it's, it's definitely, you know, if Nick and I are going to go out for a jog, he's probably going to kick my tail. So. <laughs> Ooh, more fit. Nick, do you agree that you would kick James's tail? I mean. <laughs> On a jog? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, I do feel like CrossFitters would probably be more fit. I mean, when people ask me this question, I, I, I always throw a question back at them. Who do you think is more fit, a marathon runner or a power lifter? And then they'll usually say nine times out of ten, a marathon runner. And I'm like, well, actually neither, because they it's don't incorporate each other's movements. So when you take the two together, you kind of merge the two, you get kind of CrossFit, yeah. right? So um, that's that's my thoughts and beliefs on it. Maddie, what do you think? Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, CrossFit focuses on the definition of fitness, which we believe is, is your work capacity over broad modal and time domains and able to power lift as well as incorporate a run in there and maybe some sort of gymnastics or a body weight movement. All these things incorporated into one workout, just as a, an example. Um, you know, that's, and training in that kind of way daily or maybe every other day, that's gonna, re that's gonna increase your, your, uh, your endurance, your your muscle mass, your, your body composition is going to completely change. Everything is going to change about you, and you're going to be, I mean, I'm the healthiest I've ever been. Yeah, same here. I'm coming to visit all four of y'all. <laughs> I'm going to come back with my answer on that note. That's all the time we have for today's episode. I want to thank our panel of experts for joining us today. Thank you, thank you guys. James, Nick, <laughs> Madeline, and Courtney. I'm Elena Scantlin. If you have more questions, be sure to send them in via the comment section below, and we'll get you an answer on You Asked For It only on the Be Fit channel. Stay fit, YouTubers, and see you soon. Bye-bye.